Hello, IGN. My name is Jose Otero. I'm here with Brendan Graber. Hey. And this is the Song of Time. Now you know we're going to go back in time and say it all over again. Okay. Actually, we can't. So you're watching Majora's <laughs> Mask uh, 3D, which is coming to Nintendo 3DS in North America February 13th. Uh, this is launching on the same day as new Nintendo 3DS XL. We are working uh, tirelessly on a review for you, but we wanted to show you some of the changes that came to this remake of Majora's Mask. Now, Majora's Mask originally came out in the year 2000. It was the one-year Zelda, and now it has been updated uh, three years after Ocarina of Time 3D, coincidentally. So, a lot more changed than I thought. Okay. Uh, I was expecting just, like, you know, nothing at all, maybe a couple, like, you know, power tops or whatever, but right away we see already that, like, the, the backgrounds here... Look at all this art on the walls. Yes. Uh, like these little stencils, they're really stylized. Plus this right here. This was not here. This was not here. This That's whole right. whole area. So that, look to the right for a second, actually. That statue used to be here. That statue, the safe statue used to be here. And that safe statue was only activated by Link's sword the first mm -hmm. time you found it. So now and if this I go version, here, I can just save and keep playing at any time. Yes. You could just walk up to it and save. Once it's opened in the N64 version, you could also do the same. But this gentleman was not here before. This is the, the banker. You yeah, the, bank, the the cast clock town bank. Yes. So this used to be located down an alleyway, which we're going to go down in a second. Uh, there's actually a good running joke with that guy. Did you know? What's the running joke? Well, the running joke is that you take rupees to him mm -hmm. and deposit them, and he writes with invisible ink on your hand your name and how much you owe, him, how mm -hmm. much he has that's yours. But when you rewind time, you didn't really give him that money, so you're technically stealing from him. <laughs> in my it's opinion, it's not stealing if there's time travel. Um, so I yeah, don't know about that. This is uh, West Clock Town. We have you look know, at these posters on the yeah, wall. Yeah, I love like the, like you can see like this is a a, a flyer for the the Indiegogo the uh, band. Yeah, if like you're Lulu. familiar with the Indiegogo, they are not Plus, just an I indie. I the kids group. dance with you. Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't notice that. But uh, Indiegogo was the band of Zoras mm -hmm. that you meet later on in the game. Not going to say too much about that. You'll see a lot of uh, uh, flyers for for places like this. Those are the two beavers that you do mini game in in, in the Zora Cape. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing I want to point out too Sure This bomb shop um, In the original You can notice that there Right here It looked like a, a rocket Yep And in the corner There was a little uh, thing saying Planned moon expedition <laughs> Now they've added All of these You oh. can see the whole like Rocket going into the air Landing on the moon And look There's a charge chest on the moon Wow They've played Destiny <laughs> Clearly they know <laughs> All right, very so yeah, cool. Pretty cool. So uh, a lot vision. of visual upgrades for the most part, although if you do play the game outside of Clock Town, there are a bunch of other uh, changes as well. Like right now, you're noticing where the uh, the bank used to be yeah. is no longer there. Uh, the sort of the Clock Town bank. Mm -hmm. um, some of the puzzles, and we're not going to say which ones, but are affected no by, yeah, by the changes that they've made in this game. So that's West Clock Town. This is south where go we east? started. Yeah. But some things haven't changed, right? I like the spot to find a easy 100 rupee. We can yeah. show that. You want to show that? Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's totally show that. So it's actually over here. So in East Clock Town, the jugglers are still here. One thing, though, I must say, the frame rate is one thing that, like, if you remember Majora's Mask <laughs> on N64, you're not, and you think it ran smoothly, you're not remembering that game yeah, very well. Yeah, uh, I had to do the uh, the comparison footage, and it was a night and day difference. Yes. So it's not just about draw distance and about the amount of color and art assets upgraded. It's also just how smoothly it runs compared to what the other. What do you other. think uh, oh, that is right there, that poster? Mm. I want to see it's for the uh, kind of graveyard. Yeah, there. I remember that graveyard. And then the, there's like the pose right there. Okay. There's some interesting stuff if you take the time Another to look at it. Another poster for Indiegogo. So here's the bomber's hideout. And only I know the password. So everyone close your eyes. No, you no, 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 no. Don't show the password. Are we really going to do that? That's right. Oh, good. I thought that noise he makes kind of weirds me out, though. Mm. He sounded disappointed. Okay, but we're not going that way. Yeah, this is this is actually quick aside. Here's where we get the rubies. The rupees. Oh yeah. no, you're thinking of the wrong rupee. I'm thinking of. What are you thinking of? Hand that over. <laughs> Let me show you. Let's go back to town. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. He has taken this the control, ladies and gentlemen. I have taken over. So if you see anything crazy happen, no, I'm talking about. Most people don't realize this was here. But oh. Yeah. Also, you remember uh, now? little interesting fact: they took away the cuckoo. They did what? The, there used to be a cuckoo here. Oh, uh, well, the chicken wandering around. You can around. just He's jump gone. across like this. 
Go up here, and once you have the clock town map, you'll be able to find this. This is not yeah, super it's secret. Your map, it yeah. also was in the original, so this is not a spoiler. I always went to the one inside the, the bomber's Okay, place. so now you gave that away. <laughs> <laughs> you get two spoilers for the price of one. Yep, there we go. Awesome. All right, cool. let's continue on our tour going into North Clock Town. Okay. Um, Do you want to play a mini game while you're at it? You can. No, look at these guys. That that we're we're we we're on a we're on a schedule here. It's just like the the mailman. Okay. Tight schedule. Got it. Got it. The bunny head right now. Are you gonna put it on? I could. Put it so on. just like Ocarina of Time 3D, there are improvements where you can quickly scroll to the bottom screen, drag something over to your inventory, and place it on. I feel like it's much faster with the bunny head on than it was in 64. Yeah, I think the that. frame rate. I can't tell for certain, but I I want to say that this is much faster. Pear said the same thing, so I think you're both right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, first off, the balloon's different. Yep. You used to have a big, just big Majora's face mask on it. On it. Yeah, none of this gold detail that you're yeah. seeing here. Uh, okay. Tingles moved over. He used to be right here. Yeah, he, he used there. to be closer. Kind of like to just to block you from going into the Great Fairy Cave. But I like how they've they've added up the walls. Like there's a lot this great park feeling to it. Yeah, this the foliage and stuff like the sort of the greens. Like it looks very much. It looks a lot better. Like it's really. Um, in a lot of ways, what, one of the things I appreciate about this is it is the definitive sort of visual style. I feel oh, like yeah. everything looks really, really good. And um, we even have, a, a th I think, a fly here for the Goron Hot Springs. Oh, the there it is. The tub. Yes, I see him. Just these little details. Yeah. That like. And there's um, one more place we, ha we have to go. Okay, let's do it. Uh, it's a little tiny place. Doesn't see much action, but there's a couple of important side quests that happen here. Okay. Won't, won't spoil too much for you. Too late. Yeah. Too late. Also, I can't tell. <laughs> were you able to skip this guy? Because if I press A... I feel like he was moved he over a little to the right, too. Little I little don't little. remember him being that close. But I remember that he having to wait for him to fly over like really slowly, but I was able to press A and just skip that entirely. No, you couldn't skip that before. You yeah. had to wait until he flew in. Yeah, so over here is the laundry pool. Tiny place. Not much. Oh, there's a fairy here. Oh, a fairy. That might be something for another quest. That I won't talk about. Yeah. And also, what's this? No solicitors. Let's do it. The curiosity shop. The back door. There's a front door in the uh, west clock town that you can go to at night. Wait, wait, wait. I want to talk to you. Come back. That's no. Like quest for another day. All right. I guess we can't talk to him. He's very antisocial. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to look at uh, before we... Oh, look. look oh, at this. that's really cool. It's the bombers. Yeah. You can find a lot of this actually in their uh, the little hideout. In the Hooligans. Doors. <laughs> they have like there's all this graffiti over the walls and I love it. It's, it's graffiti. It, it I like gives it. it like a much more lived in kind of world. Like, yep. and, like no. when, I, when I played the six foot version, like you could tell that there was like a, a carnival coming, but it still seemed kind of barren and I thought it was gonna know what was here, but with the with the flyers, with the graffiti, yeah. like the, with the more of the colors yeah. and the walls, I feel like this is a more like a town I would live in. Like things no, happen it definitely here. has a more lived in look and a more lived in feel and it's definitely something that you know, you didn't really notice as much mm -hmm. on the N64 one. I mean, obviously there were limitations to sort of 3D graphics at the time. We're talking about the year 2000 where, you know, 3D gaming for the most part was, uh, or ga games in, a, you know, with 3D polygons were still kind of figuring themselves out mm -hmm. and coming up with cool ideas. But uh, visually there were still limitations. So it's really cool to see like all these posters, all these events. It does feel like a carnival's coming. It does yeah. feel like something's happening on top of all these clocks. So this is a quick look at the Bomber's Notebook. We won't show you too much, we'll but every time you time. meet someone, they get added, mm -hmm. and they live on a schedule. So this might be a little bit uh, too much, but we'll double check, make sure that we're not spoiling anything. Yeah, Obviously, a lot of Majora's Mask is about keeping up with people's schedules and kind of offering them help mm -hmm. uh, over the course of the next three days. Because in three days, this is all going to be gone. Oh, and yeah. you're doing everything you can to prevent that. I want to show you one more thing. Okay. I'm pretty sure this was not in the 64 version, so... You're Easter. pretty sure. I am, I am most definitely shouldn't sure. Shouldn't you be absolutely sure? I am absolutely 99.99999% uh, sure. Uh, when you first went into this room with uh, Andrew's grandmother, where you could fast forward time by listening to her long stories, yep. there was nothing on the walls. The walls were all blank. Now they actually have pictures on them, and you can see a couple of things, like... Um, Oh. The Ramani Ranch, plus yep. next to them, what well, appears to a be UFO. a UFO. <laughs> and if you know, if you don't know what that has anything to do with, don't worry about it. Uh, if you played Major, if you play Majora's Mask, you will find out. I um, want to say that. Uh, she oh wow! And then the expedition to the moon. Now this all yeah. makes sense. I think. I think this. I think she's part of the X Files. She wants to believe. Uh, oh wait, what's the what's the painting over her uh, over the fireplace? Oh, the fireplace. Can I see that? Let's go into first person mode, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can take photos here. That but looks like the uh, stock bot in. Okay. It's where she is. She's where we proud. are right now. Yep. 
All right. Oh, well, there you have it, folks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jose. I forgot one thing. That, just, <sighs> that, that triggered a memory in my mind that I, I wasn't sure that was uh, uh, new or not, but now I'm definitely sure. Okay. The one place we haven't gone is the mayor's office. Oh, also, that's right. Also in this part of uh, East Clock Town. Yep. Um, there's one thing about the that they've changed that I haven't seen before. All right, let's see it. Uh, maybe even two things. Okay. One thing I'm not sure. I want your opinion on. You're only getting this one. This right here. This model of Clock Town. Oh, wow. Was that there before? <laughs> oh, it's been a while, dude. Viewers at home, you if you want to go and check brief me on this. Uh, yeah. What I know for certain what wasn't there before is this wonderful... Um, stylistic painting of the mayor and his wife wow um, that's a that's a that's how they look hot this and heavy painting. romance right there but if you go in here you can see what she actually looks like oh this is well this is years after the fact uh-oh yeah. yeah not exactly the same but no, uh but you know it's a very oh, wow that is kind of funny it's a very makes you wonder is, did someone paint it out of fear or did they paint it <laughs> well, because that's the mayor what so look maybe like. he had some connections he just yeah like, Make me like that's Napoleon. true, but that's funny. These are all subtle little things that you wouldn't even notice. But yeah. uh, for anyone who's played and, and knows a bit about Majora's Mask, it adds context to things that you didn't even expect it to. That's yeah. really cool. All right, folks. We're now there. You have it. Yes. This is the Majora's Mask uh, 3D, a quick tour of Clock Town, and for more coverage of the Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, or anything Zelda, in fact, anything, keep it right here at IGN.